Okay, you're dilated to four. And I, I could have just started bawling my eyes out because I thought four, oh my gosh, I, you have to be a 10 to push the baby out. And I'm like, oh my God, this is not good. This is not good. And um, then, but she had found something out, like the way the baby was hitting my cervix, it wasn't dilating right. So she said, if you have your contractions on, leaning on your left side, like lay on your left for 25 minutes, I think it's gonna really, really help. So I did, it was excruciating again. Uh, I should say intense, because I don't wanna scare anybody. I want to encourage you because I did get on the other side of this, obviously. For the 25 minutes, I ended up asking to get up and I got on the birthing ball and I sat there and I had another contraction and I was like, I have to get in the water. Cause I was also having a water birth. That was my plan, which also it's like, who knows how this is really going to go. And I don't know. And, um, I, and usually when I say I need to get in the water, it's like not very long after that I have my baby. So, and I've had, this was going to be my third water birth and so I got in and the assistant hadn't showed up yet, my midwife's assistant. And all of a sudden I have another really big contraction and I was like, I need to get on my hands and knees. So I got on my hands and knees and I'm like literally pushing the baby out. And so and she was just as surprised because we weren't really ready. Like, oh, the baby's coming now, like right now. So that all happened in such a short amount of time, all from changing positions, which is just a testimony to how labor and delivery can go. It can go quick, it can go slow. You just, you have no idea. It's a surprise. Um, so then I ended up pushing her out and I remember when the very first thing I thought when they put her up on my chest was, I put my head on her and went, <gasps> she has hair. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so this is my fifth baby, sixth child. Um, our oldest is adopted if you didn't know that. And so I just put my head on her and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she has all this hair. So all my kids are either bald or have like little, just a little bit of hair. And I've never in my life seen this much hair, at least on my kids. Nope, never. And so I'm like, still, if you have hair tips, baby hair tips, let me know. Because this has just been crazy and it, I can't tame it. I can't tame it. It's like she's got a cowlick in the back and it's everywhere. It's just her hair is everywhere. So we brush it and we have fun with it. I really just need to give her a good old mohawk because that would be fun. <laughs> but so this is my second Trim Healthy Mama baby. Uh, I would love to tell you guys that I gained 23 pounds and then I lost 23 pounds and I'm back into my skinny jeans. It's just not true for me. I wish I could say that. It's just not true. It's okay. I'm going to get myself back, but my body, I'm 39. I don't know if it's because I'm older. I have no idea. I really don't know, but I ate completely on plan the whole time. And uh, I gained weight, gained weight in my thighs that I've never seen before in uneven places. Very strange. Just, I feel like, I feel sort of like a mutant. And I just have to look at this little peanut and go, it's all worth it. Even if I stayed looking like this forever, it's all worth it. So I am in the middle of my postpartum journey and trying to figure out what I have to do for my body to make sure I'm nourishing her first and foremost with breastfeeding and then making sure my milk supply is good. Also, while, you know, as the weight coming off. It's coming off, but it's way slow. Of course, you know, we. it's like I do want that magic wand, just boom, so easy and everything comes off. But again, I feel like God is just really like opening my eyes to have sympathy because I've gained and lost weight so many times, hundreds of pounds. And I feel like I'm just in that journey again. And my knees have been hurting from, you know, from carrying her during the pregnancy and then my foot went flat and I had all these issues with energy and numbness and all kinds of crazy things that I haven't had to endure for a long, long time. And just being able to go up and down the stairs. Uh, it makes me realize not to take those things for granted. And I'm like, when I go up and down the stairs and I'm carrying her, I'm like, thank you, Lord, that I can go up and down the stairs because that is a blessing in and of itself. Thank you that I can carry her. I mean, she's 13 pounds now. Oh she was big remember I have big babies and I knew it I knew she was gonna be big I just didn't and in my mind I thought 11 pounds 
I was pretty confident like she was gonna be 11 pounds. And she was close. She was 10 pounds, 13 ounces, and she was 22 and a quarter inches long. And she had, she has a 15 inch head. And I guess she did not um, mold. Is that the right word? Do they call it mold? She did not mold her head when she came out. So you can just fathom that feeling. Yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> I'm working on the things I need to work on while also like transitioning to having a new person in the house is hard. And everyone has to, everyone has to adapt. And so like my, my little guy Tatum, who you met earlier, he at first was like afraid of her and was like, oh, I don't want to touch her. And now he just loves her. He's so sweet with her and he just cuddles her. And it's just so wonderful to watch. So we're all just in the middle of this beautiful transition to having a new member in the family, being thankful for new life and how God brought her into this world.